Welcome back to Father and Son Fix. In this episode, we're going to show you how to fix weak prints from a laser printer. To take your print out from looking like this, all the way to this. Let's take a quick look at how a laser printer works to understand why we're getting weak prints. If you've already replaced the toner, the typical cause is a dirty laser or mirrors. As you can see, the laser beam travels through the mirror onto the toner roller to create the charge that attracts the toner. When the laser or mirrors are dirty, the result is a weak beam which creates a weak charge and ultimately a weak print. Now let's take a look at a typical laser and mirror assembly. Here's one from another HP printer. Inside you can see the mirrors are those clear bars and the laser is at the bottom. The areas you'll want to clean are the mirrors. Also, these reflective mirrors here on the sides and the laser assembly itself. Yours may look a little different. This is a general reference of what you're looking for. Okay, let's dive in and we're going to show you how to take apart a typical laser printer. In this case, it's this LaserJet CP1525NW. The first step, and as it turns out, we didn't actually need to do this, but you should do it anyway. Take the toner out and check each of the toner rollers to make sure that they're clear. This is another cause of weak prints. You'll definitely want to make sure those are clear as part of your troubleshooting process. We know that's not the cause for us, so we're going to continue on to taking apart the printer. Okay. Now... On the side, there's one screw that holds this panel in. Of course, you want to unplug the printer and leave it unplugged. We've got the printer on the side for this one moment where we can take advantage of not having the panel removed yet on the other side. And here's a tip. You can use an ice cube tray to organize your screws when you're taking apart something. Really easy, inexpensive way to keep track of what you need. You can use letters or numbers. Great tip for you. All right, now, once the screw is out, you're gonna to wanna to pry the clips gently to get this side panel off. And there are the inner workings there. There's a memory slot on the right and some other things. Now onto the other side, and we can't tilt it over now because the circuit board is exposed. Same thing, screw on the bottom, and then you're gonna pry the side panel off. There's some clips behind the paper feed and behind the toner drawer there so you're just going to want to get those clips off and again be gentle as you take those off of there okay now we're back on the other side again and there's a cable for the control panel that you're going to want to disconnect uh, before you take that control panel off be gentle with those ribbon cables they could be a little fragile after all those years all right, there's one screw on the side here that holds the control panel in. And I'm going to put that in the ice cube tray. Some tabs on the other side here. Again, be, be careful when you're prying on the plastic. Don't use too much force. Okay, and take the tape off so that the ribbon cable isn't being pulled. And there's one more small cable to release here at the bottom. Again, this is the HP CP1525NW. These are the typical types of things you will need to do to get access to the laser and mirror assembly on your printer. Be careful when you pry each piece off that you don't break the plastic. Okay, taking off the back cover panel. And there's one more screw here to get the top cover panel off. All right, now that that's removed, we can take the top cover panel off. And there is the laser mirror assembly for this printer. Now there's a few more things we need to do to gain access to it. And we're gonna to need to remove another or disconnect another large ribbon cable here. And these other cables on the side, we tried to disconnect both of them. One of them was really stuck in there. 
and we did not want to pry it out. So we were able to get the red and white uh, plug, but the other one we weren't able to, and we just had to work around it being careful. It's another ribbon cable there, another small ribbon cable, and just be very careful here with the wires. As you can see, the wires run through this channel here above, and so we're going to need to unweave them, which we've done, and be gentle when you weave them and take a photo or refer to any other diagrams that you have available as you go along to make sure everything goes back where it should when you're done. All right, there is another crossbar here that's a sort of structural support that also covers this ribbon cable, and we're gonna take that out. And we're almost there to the laser mirror assembly. On the assembly itself, there's a small screw that holds the top cover in. And there's a little spring that connects for the shutter there. And just gonna have to be careful to take that out. And remember, take a photo if you need to, to remember the orientation of how it goes back in. Now, here is the laser mirror assembly on this printer. And the cover was so clipped tight in the back, but now you can see exactly what we wanna deal with. Those are all the areas that you're gonna to wanna to clean in there. We recommend using isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free paper towel. For these areas, it's good to use a Q-tip. Remember, you don't want to leave any little hairs or lint behind and be very gentle when you're cleaning. All right, fired back up and getting ready for our first set of test prints. Okay, let's take a look. On the left is the test print before we cleaned and you can see how weak the colors are, especially the magenta. Here's after cleaning only the mirrors. Look at what a difference it made. Now, with the mirrors and the laser assembly clean, wow, what a difference, so much bolder. And you can do this, you can do this. Remember, be careful, take your time, and you can do it. Here's another comparison. Look at the Energy Star logos on the right, and look at some of the colors there in the middle. And here's just the two before and afters. Wow, what a difference. We hope this helps you fix your prints. Thanks for watching and have a great day.